If you follow many creators on YouTube or elsewhere, you might have heard of a piece of software called Notion popping up recently. Tons of us are using Notion to track our video production workflows. And if you wanna learn more about how you can use Notion in 2021, keep watching. Notion is an organized workspace that a lot of creators use to keep track of all the insanity surrounding running a YouTube channel, especially for tracking video production notes. It's as if they took all the good parts of all the best productivity tools and put them together into a single app and then made it free. It's insane. And it's particularly good at tracking things that have a lot of moving pieces, which makes Notion amazing for video planning and video production tracking. I've just created a new account so you can get an idea what it's like to start from scratch. When you first sign up, you'll see this initial onboarding process. They pre-populated it with some templates to give you ideas for different ways you can use it. You can keep these if you want, but for most people, I'd actually recommend just getting rid of them. Fortunately, they give you an option to clear templates. And there we go, clean slate. It gives us a getting started page, which you can delete later, but I do recommend reading through it and watching those videos since it'll help you get the hang of how to do things in Notion. You've probably never used a piece of software like this before. You can kind of think of Notion like a cross between a word processor and a spreadsheet and a database. And that sounds a little insane, but it turns out that's the perfect tool for a lot of different uses, including video production. So let's jump right into building a video production schedule. I'm gonna add a page called production. This is where we'll keep all of our video related stuff. And I could hit enter and start typing a document, but instead I'm gonna choose one of these templates, specifically the board. Basically, this is a workflow tool that lets you track pieces of work, such as an individual video through a workflow. The columns across the top represent the different stages of your workflow and each card represents a video. Let's set up a basic video workflow. The first column is for cards that don't have a status or stage yet. So we'll leave that as is, and that's where we'll put our raw ideas. Whenever you come up with a brilliant concept, just pop in here, jot it on a card. Then let's add columns for take notes, write script, shoot, edit, prep, publish, and done. Obviously you can change those up however you want for your workflow. If you want a separate stage for color grading, for example, go ahead and pop that in there. Let's add a quick video to see how this works. We'll call this one Sony a7 IV Camera Review. And there's a lot more we can do on this screen, so you'll wanna keep watching, but for now, let's close it out. Maybe I have this idea for a while, so it just sits in the no status column for a few weeks. But then when I decide I wanna actually start producing this video, I can pull it into the next column and start taking notes on what I wanna do in that episode. And at each stage, you move it down the line until it's all the way in the done column. This system actually lets you track dozens of videos that you might have in production at one time. It's really easy to keep everything straight this way. And working on multiple videos at a time can actually be really efficient. For example, if you have time to write, you can sit down and write multiple scripts at once. And then when your house is nice and quiet and it's a good time to shoot, you can shoot a few videos at the same time. This can really streamline things. Now, this is another dynamic Notion page, which means that we can add text here just like we would in a Google Doc or a Word document, but we can also add sub pages, additional databases, or whatever else we need. And it'll all live in that little card that moves from stage to stage. For example, let's say we wanna keep our notes organized. Instead of typing them all here in the main document, we can actually add a separate page just for notes. Then we can put all our research and concepts and brainstorming there. And then when we click up here to go back to the main card, you'll see it added a page link to our notes. Nice and neat. You can also add things directly to this page if you want. So for example, if you wanted to add a list of B-roll shots you needed to film, you could add a heading and then a to-do list. And you can also add a list, a table, calendar, timeline, gallery, lots of things. You can upload media here if you want. Maybe you want to store your thumbnails in here, or maybe the music files you download that you want to use in the episode. Tweets, maps, Google Drive files, PDFs, almost anything else. It can all go here. But wait, there's more. If you want, you can also define custom properties for each card, or in this case, for each video. For example, let's make a top 10 drone hacks video. You'll need a drone for that, so let's add a property called gear, and then we'll add drone to this video. You could also add, say, locations. Maybe one of your drone hacks is gonna be in the forest, so you add forest to the video. Now, when you're looking at your production board, you can filter your ideas by gear and location. If you're planning to go to the forest and you're bringing your drone, you could just add the appropriate filters and it'll show you which of your other videos you can shoot while you're there. Working on multiple videos at a time and doing similar footage together can make you way more efficient. Before I started this, for example, I found myself going out to the same locations over and over again to showcase how different gear performed. With this system, I could plan out the videos I want to do, tag the locations, 
and then find all the videos I want to do in a particular location and then knock out all that footage at once. And you can do all this on the web or from the mobile app. If you have an idea when you're on the run or sitting on the toilet or whatever, no problem. Just jot it down in the mobile app and then come back to it when you're at your desk. And Notion is free for personal use. That's insane. That means you can do everything I just showed you and it costs nothing at all. So why are you still here? Go sign up for Notion.